In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to share an overview of the TV Broadcast Title Pack. It's a new feature that's available for subscribers of PowerDirector 365, or you can purchase it separately if you wish to do so. We'd like to look at some of the strengths, some of the weaknesses, what makes it unique, so you can decide whether or not you want to use it if you're a subscriber, or maybe purchase it if you're not. You can find the features of the title pack available on the CyberLink website. We're going to that location right now. It's under the Creative Design Packs, and you notice on the website it says there are 60 templates. I'm going to break them down into what I consider to be four different families. And so we'll deal with them one at a time. If we scroll down on that screen, the first grouping that we find there all share a, what I call a triangle and a couple of rectangular bars. That particular family has 11 different examples that are on the website. There are actually 15 different variations available in the broadcast title pack. This is unique in that it's designed differently than the other three families we're going to look at in this tutorial. The second family I'm going to call a polygon. It, it's this rather odd-shaped element of two shades of blue. There are 10 examples, as you see on the website at CyberLink. There are actually 14 different variations of this one available in the broadcast title pack. Then we have the third family. It's more of a rectangular with the similar colors as the previous one. You see on the screen one of 12 different examples available. There are actually 16 available inside the title pack following this particular pattern or family of styles. The last grouping that we have, the fourth one, I'll call my red and white. This one has 14 examples that you can see on the website. There are 15 in the title pack. Let's look inside PowerDirector to see what they look like when we actually begin to run the program. What I'm going to do is click into my title room. And now I have all of the content. I can click the drop down at the top or the arrow at the left. Either way, I can get into the subcategory. We'll move to TV broadcast title pack. I'd like to overview these four different families of titles that are now available. The first one, as I mentioned, is different from the other three. Let me show you why. I'm going to take this, a random one, and drag it and place it on track number two. What makes this title family distinct from the other three is that it consists of a particle on track number one and usually three separate titles on tracks two, three, and four. When you click on track number one for the title, you find that you can actually move it to a different place on the screen, but you notice that the text does not move with it. So when I play this, having moved it, I'm going to see that the titles are over here and the text is elsewhere. Now that's a shortcoming of this particular design. So if I want to move it, what I have to do with the text, I also have to click on that. And then either using the mouse or the keyboard, I have to move the text to match wherever I move the title. Using this method, we discover we cannot change the size of the particle, only its location. But there are some pluses of this kind of design. If we look at the text, for example, we have PowerDirector over here. I'll move it to match where we relocated our title. We can change the font face. We can also change the border. We can add a border to that. We can change shadow and backdrop and other kinds of features of the particular titles that are part of this in the title designer. So we have lots of flexibility in terms of modifying the design of the titles inside this particular object. So that's the positive. The negative is we have to move the pieces independently if we're going to change the position of the title. So everything you see in this family is designed the same way and this is what it looks like when it's functioning. Another thing you can do with this family is you can add other particles and other features of your own. I'm going to click on my particle at the top, 
and move into my particle room. We'll go to Effect A and click on OK. And now I have added another particle to this particular broadcast title. So those are some of the pluses and minuses of this kind of design. And everything in this first family, these elements that have what I call a triangle as part of it, are all designed around that same pattern. The other three families that we find in the TV broadcast title pack are designed around the motion graphic model, and they all operate differently with some pluses and minuses. Let's see what we can discover looking at them. I'm going to go to the second sample here, and we'll take and we'll drag and drop that on our timeline. If we double click on it, we'll get into our title designer. Now you notice we have few, many fewer options. We don't have any keyframing we can do below the box, and the, the settings are different. Now let me give you a positive of this one. When it comes to the object, you can easily move it around, and everything in the object moves together. You can also change it to larger or smaller, and you can turn on the object settings on the left panel and change the aspect ratio to stretch it out either horizontally or vertically if you so choose to do so. So those are the pluses. The, the minuses of this design, if you click on the title object, is you have very little that you can change. When you, you can change the font family that it comes from, you can do bold or italic or change perhaps the color. And you can change the text by dragging in the box on the top and typing whatever you like. But you don't nearly have nearly the font control you did with the first family. All the other three basically are modified in this way. So those are the pluses and minuses of using the motion graphic as the model for this particular family of objects that you find in the TV broadcast title pack. So that's the second one. The third one that we mentioned that you find online is, is the one I'm calling red and white. And again, it has the same um, positives and the same restrictions. You can change the, the proportion of it. You can change the fonts with only these particular controls. And that's how that one works. And the last family that we have, the one I call Polygon, works in much the same way. It has some limited editing capabilities like anything else built around the motion graphics model. So those are the four families of titles that are available in the TV broadcast title pack and how three of them work different from the other family that you find in that product. <music>